Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we are going to have a look at how to perform engine power balance test. We will be doing a engine power balance test on this four-cylinder diesel engine. A cylinder power balance test is a way to measure the ability of each cylinder to contribute an equal share of the total power output of an engine. Now, the test measures each cylinder's drop in RPM. So we'll run the engine, we'll run it at fast idle, somewhere around 1000 or greater than 1000 RPM. Then we disable each cylinder, turn by turn. It measures each cylinder's drop in RPM, testing its effectiveness compared to the other cylinders. Now each cylinder is disabled and RPM drop is recorded. When it comes to power balance test, it's the best way to pinpoint a cylinder that is underperforming. So if you lately happen to have unusual vibration on an engine, if you, if you happen to have power loss, if your engine starts hesitating at some RPM, especially at idle speed, then there might be a cylinder that is not working properly. This could be caused by a fuel problem. This could be caused by some kind of ignition problem when it comes to a gasoline engine. So the best way to pinpoint which cylinder is contributing less or which cylinder is totally not functioning is the power balance test. In a gasoline engine, power balance test is done by disabling the ignition that is coming to each cylinder, and then compare the RPM change, the RPM drop, as a result of the ignition disabling. When it comes to a diesel engine, for example, we have a high pressure line coming to each cylinder. So by disabling the high pressure line that is coming to every cylinder, power balance test will be performed. Now, you might have noticed that most of the videos on the internet regarding power balance tests are usually done on a gasoline engine. So I have decided to do a video on how to do power balance tests on a diesel engine. This is a four-cylinder Nissan diesel, and uh, we are going to perform a cylinder power balance test on this engine. Now, the basic thing to do is to start the vehicle and run it and uh, make sure that the idle is a little bit fast so that every time you disable a cylinder, so the engine does not turn off, so we are going to do that. I will start the engine and run it at a fast idle speed. And then we will disable the power, the high pressure line coming to each cylinder. Now there are two methods of doing the performance test. One is by listening. You listen to the drop in RPM as we disable all the cylinders, turn by turn. Starting from cylinder number one, I will disable the high pressure line fuel coming to the injectors and then you will compare the RPM drop. The other method of testing is actually by using a tachometer. Well, this is a diesel engine. I will be using a digital tachometer in order to measure the RPM drop as each cylinder is disabled. Now, without any further ado, let's get to the test. Let's begin running the engine, and then you will notice the drop in RPM as I disconnect fuel lines. Let's begin. Now the engine is started, it's running at fast idle. Now I will disconnect fuel line to cylinder number one. Let's listen to the change in RPM as I disconnect high pressure line coming to cylinder number one. Notice the drop in RPM. Let's put it back. See, there is a difference. Let's do it again. Cylinder number two. Cylinder number three. And finally, we have cylinder number four. Let's do it for cylinder number four. Now 
Now notice the RPM drop when I disconnect high pressure line to cylinder number four. Listen. Make sure to tighten all the cylinders. So that was how engine power balance test can be done without any device. Now I have used only a spanner to disconnect fuel supply to each cylinder. This is one method of doing a power balance test. By listening to the amount of audio change, the drop in RPM can be noticed. Now we have seen that almost all the cylinders are putting out comparatively equivalent amount of power. Because the RPM drop when I disconnect fuel injection line to all the cylinders is nearly the same, it means this engine is in a very good condition. Now, if I happen to disconnect one fuel pressure line, and for example, if I happen to disconnect high pressure line coming to cylinder number four, and I observe no RPM change whatsoever, then it indicates that there is a problem in cylinder number four. It could be a result of poor injector. It could be a result of uh, low compression inside the cylinder. It could be a result of a blown head gasket. Whatever the cause, it indicates that when there is no RPM change, it indicates that that cylinder is faulty. And the other thing is, if the RPM drop compared to the other cylinder is comparatively low, then it indicates also there is poor performance in that particular cylinder. Now, in order to do for a gasoline engine, there are ignition lines that are coming to each cylinder you disable the ignition system turn by turn. The test is similarly the same. Now, in order to exactly quantify the amount of RPM drop, we can use a digital tachometer on a diesel engine. Let's hook it up and see. For this particular power balance test, I'll be using this digital tachometer. This is a very handy digital tachometer. There is a button here, you press this button and aim it to the place where you are going to measure the RPM. And make sure that you have some reflector attached to the flywheel. For example, I'll be measuring on the flywheel right here. Make sure that there is some reflector attached to the flywheel. That way we can measure the RPM. All it does is it will measure the number of reflection reflected back to the digital tachometer. So that is how it operates. Let's attach some reflector and then go from there. Now, as you can see, I have attached a reflector to the flywheel right here. Every time that reflector passes in front of this digital tachometer, it will record the RPM. Let's start the engine and uh, that way we can quantify the amount of RPM drop by using this digital tachometer. This is the idle speed, So this way you can measure the RPM drop in a diesel engine and compare every cylinder. And as, as you can see, these results are very nice, almost close together. I, have, I should have increased the engine idle RPM to somewhere around 1,500 for smooth operation. But anyways, the engine is in good condition. So by using a digital tachometer, you can measure the RPM change and you can compare each cylinder.
So this is how engine power balance test is done. Whenever you are doing a power balance test, make sure that you are disconnecting the fuel supply or the ignition system for a very short period because that will cause extra load on the catalytic converter. It will tend to overheat the catalytic converter. So in vehicles fitted with a catalytic converter, make sure that you are disconnecting only for a little while. And uh, modern engine analyzers have also a capacity of disconnecting ignition to every cylinder. And by that, you can also perform a power balance test. Now I have showed you how manually you can do a power balance test. Well, this is all we have for you in this presentation. I hope you have enjoyed. This is a very simple method of pinpointing a faulty cylinder, a cylinder that is not contributing as much to the total power of the cylinder. This is how you do a power balance test. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.